that's where we're going. Have you ever been on the radio before? No. Alexi, are you excited? Yeah! Alexi, we're in downtown Sudbury. Yeah! Are we gonna go be on the radio? Yeah! Yeah! It's right over there. That building there. You, we look through the window, but we're actually gonna get to go in there and talk to them. Yeah. You excited, Alexi? We're here. Yeah. You want to ring the doorbell? Yeah. Nice little family. Yeah. yeah. These look so cute. Little ponchos. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. I'm Martha. I've been working on the show today with Bob. Hi. Shh, shh, shh. Listening to Up North on CBC Radio 1, 98.9 FM in Nipigish. A Sudbury couple has taken their teaching expertise online. They've started an educational YouTube channel featuring their two young daughters. What's this, Alexi? Fire! That's water? It's water. And what state is it in? Do you know? Yeah, it's in the dark. Well, that's what it's in. <laughs> that is true. But what state is it? It's liquid. It's liquid. Yeah, it's wet. It's liquid. That's a clip from a lesson exploring states of matter on the YouTube channel Raising A to Z. Sudbury teachers Stefan and Amanda Ostrander started the channel late last year. The A to Z refers to their daughters, Alexi and Zoe. And the whole family joins us now in studio to talk about how this project came about. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, Bob. Hi. So what inspired you to start your own YouTube channel? Well, we... Uh we're starting our homeschool journey and, and decided that maybe other people would want to see what we're doing. And, you know, we thought it'd just be a fun experience for our family and a way to share what we're learning. Yeah, Amanda had been blogging for a bit uh, on her own private blog, or not private, her own blog. And uh, we decided uh, we wanted to do something with the whole family. So what sorts of things do you cover uh, with your videos? We, take, we, we do all sorts of things. We have... Uh, Field Trip Fridays, and we do some flashbacks, and we do some creative lessons and experiments, and uh, we just did our first walk and talk. Cool. Yeah. In, in the clip, we just had you exploring the, the states of matter, you know, with the, the jar of water there. It's a pretty, pretty cute little lesson there. So the, the videos are pretty well produced. You obviously put a lot of time into them. Um, what goes into making these videos and then uploading them? It's, it's quite a process. We start with some ideas, and then we have to figure out what we're going to, where we're going to do it and how we're going to do it. And then it's the filming. That's another whole ordeal and a half sometimes of yeah. how to get all the footage that we need. Sometimes we have to set up some lights because yeah. if, we, if we're filming in the house and it's nighttime or dark. It gets gotta... a little interesting. <laughs> and then he gets together late at night with his coffee and he cuts it all together. And that's how yeah. we make a video. Lots of, <laughs> lots of editing. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that's Zoe there, a year and a half. <laughs> um, so I, I assume you had to get some gear together to, uh, to put these videos together. Um, we already had a lot of the gear that we use. Um, oh, you can hear yourself, eh? <laughs> She's exploring. That's Alexi there. Yeah, so a lot of the gear we already have, we just use our, our cameras we already had in our phones and uh, already have a computer that we do some editing on, so... So your channel is only about a, a month or so old. Uh, your subscribers are growing. What's your hope for its future? We want to keep doing this, uh, you know, subscribers or not. We, we love doing this and it's a lot of fun. It's a way to spend time with our kids and uh, have fun with the lessons. And if it keeps growing, then that's great. We can we hope to make some partnerships. And uh, we've already been asked uh, by a couple of different uh, people to come and do a field trip or something like that. So we hope it keeps on growing and the opportunities uh, continue to present themselves. And we want to inspire other parents who are homeschooling or trying to find ways to educate their kids at home that it doesn't have to be really complicated. It can be, you know, these simple little field trip here or, or just pulling out some ice and water can be just as educational. Mm -hmm. A lot of YouTubers nowadays are able to generate income through their channels. Is that potentially part of your plan? 
I don't know if it's part of our plan. If it happens, then that would be amazing and awesome, and we can put that right back into what we're doing with them. So we, we thought of that, but that's not, uh, that's not the purpose or the point of it. But uh, we're excited if that happens, then yeah. that would be really cool. Yeah. And you never know, these things take off, right, online? Exactly. So if we were able to make some money doing this, then that goes right into the college fund. So yeah. nice. <laughs> we're doing a, a contest right now because we just reached 100 subscribers last week. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then already we have, I think, almost 150 subscribers. So I said to Amanda today, I think by the time we're done this contest, we might need to have another, there another, you go. Uh, another contest. Another milestone. <laughs> another milestone, yeah. So, so this channel started in the winter. Um, some of your videos explore the outdoors and some very distinct northern Ontario surroundings. Uh, how does Sudbury and our region play a role in your content? We've lived here, well, Amanda's lived here all her life, and I've lived here almost all of my life, and we love it here. Um, I think it offers a really unique place because we can go from being outdoors and, you know, exploring a river, like that's where you guys were today, was up exploring a frozen river and a lake where, and then we can jump and be right in the city and go explore something here in the city, and it's, I think Sudbury's just a really cool place for us to do that. One of the videos is also at Science North. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, So what's your advice to other parents or teachers who are considering starting their own YouTube endeavors? It takes a lot of time, so (laughs) don't think it's easy. I think the biggest thing to do is just to start. If somebody has an idea for a YouTube channel, I think the biggest thing is people uh, don't necessarily start right away until they think, okay, I have to get this gear together or I have to have the idea down pat or or that sort of thing. So I think the biggest thing is just to start and keep practicing and, and you'll get better at what you're doing. And Alexi and Zoe have left the table. They're off uh, playing <laughs> elsewhere in the studio. So I can't ask them exactly, but uh, how have they taken to it? Do they enjoy this? I think so. Most of the time we're, we're still getting, you know, ironing the kinks out and sometimes uh, it can be a little bit frustrating if they're not wanting to do something. So we're learning and we're trying to make sure that we stick to, you know, right now is when they're really into this and they want to do this. So just put the camera on and, and go. Okay. And making sure that we film not during nap time. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's been a, a learning curve <laughs> for us is setting, making sure we're set up for when they're ready and fresh so that it's not cranky time. Yeah. Us, so. <laughs> well, it's very interesting work. Uh, cool channel. Uh, Stefan and Amanda, thanks a lot for joining us Thank today. You. Alexi, do you want to say anything? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Thanks a lot for coming Thank in. Thank you very much, Thank Bob. Thank you. That was Stefan and Amanda Ostrander and Alexi and Zoe. Uh, they're the stars of the YouTube channel Raising A to Z. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah! Did you like going to be on the radio today? Yeah. That was cool, eh? Do you see how those microphones hook up to the radios? Yeah. That was super cool. And I wear the headphones and I can. Hear you can go. hear everybody. Eh? You can no. hear yourself. I can, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Low was overnight from minus thirty to minus. Whose voice do you hear? Wind chills in the mid to low minus thirties for most. Is that Wob? Yeah, Wob. Wow. You just met him. Berlin, it'll feel yeah. like minus forty-one. Yeah. So that means an extreme cold downtown warning. Downtown, downtown at the radio now, station, and now we hear him on the in the car on the radio. In Fort Albany, yeah. could feel. <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications when we upload our latest videos. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. We'll see you next week for more activities, adventures, and lifelong learning. Bye! Bye.